uh, seven guys that I think you know, just a couple point one. It's the most depth we've had there since I've uh, been here. And uh, we all have experience. We're the most experienced unit on the defense, so we're going to try to get the defense next year. You wrote about 212? Yeah. Where you're playing it? Yeah. It's big for a corner, isn't it? Yeah, sir. So. <laughs> now, you may be able to move inside because of uh, uh, power will be there. Yeah, you know, I'm, time, right? I'm willing to play anywhere as long as I help the defense out. I'm happy, whether it's inside or outside. Mm -hmm. What do you like better? Uh, I don't have any. I used to like inside better, but since I've been playing outside, I like them about the same. But I play them both anyway. So I play outside and base. I play inside and nickel, so it doesn't matter to me. And Drew, Drew said that the secondary as a whole has a lot of food. And do you agree with that and why? Yeah, you know, just because this is probably the first time in a while that the secondary has really been the most experienced unit on the defense. You know, everyone's you know, come to us asking us questions, so we have a big role in our defense next year anchor. You know, normally it's the linebackers or the D-line. You know, and this year we feel like hey, that's us. I know you've had a chance to be on the sideline with the Jets. How has that experience helped you at all? Yeah. You know, with your football just savvy. watching them you know watching professionals do it and just seeing what it takes to get there it definitely makes you work even harder when you get back here and what, what did you learn from Rex Ryan if anything uh, you know I, I've never really talked football with him I've talked football with some of the other guys but just being around him you know uh, and how much he loves the game I, I definitely listen to him he's just a real intense guy and just you know just he always talks about competing every single play you know even, even, even if you don't compete just compete every single play and just give it all. What, what have you seen you know, he's definitely quicker than he was last year. He's always been fast, but uh, he's quicker off the line than he has been. That makes him even tougher to cover. And when we battle, I usually get the best of him. He's got, he's, he's beat me up. But I think he's beat me once this spring. I normally get the best of him. Though. How many times have you beat him? Uh, we haven't gone against each other this spring as much as we have in the past, but if we go against each other five times, he may be beat me once or twice. Other times I have. Would he agree with that? I think he would agree with that. And if he doesn't, then... Uh, He's lying. He's lying. He's lying, yeah. What's the, what's the uh, opposite cornerback looking for? Like, what's that position looking like right now, opposite of you? Uh, we have we have four cornerbacks right now that can play. You know, Scrap, uh, I, I can tell he has confidence in all of us. So it's a real good battle. You know, we have uh, Chaz. He's playing a lot better than he was. We have Steph. He's, going, he's playing a lot better. And then Derek Thomas. He wasn't here uh, for most of the season, but you came until he was gone. He came back. He got right back in the groove of things. He's competing for a spot, so you know we really don't know what's going to happen. We're just going out there. We're competing every single day, and you know, as far as I'm concerned, I don't have a spot locked down. You know, I'm going out there like like my spots online as well. You mentioned Chaz. He's been flip flop so many times between receiver and corner. Did, did you see that it maybe took him a while to get back into like a cornerback group? Or it, well, it was... playing cornerback's a tough spot. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can't just play receiver. You know, you can take a cornerback and put him on offense. You know, mm -hmm. uh, to take a receiver and put him on defense that takes a while. That's a mm -hmm. different spot, but he's. He's 100% uh, adapt to that, and uh, he, this is the most com comfortable he's been. Mm -hmm. He used to be kind of be afraid to get beat deep. He's not afraid of that anymore. He's made a lot more plays. Mm -hmm. You can just tell he's a lot more confidence out in the field now. Well, and you just mentioned Thomas, too. Just what have you seen from him? You said he's, he's looked good, but you well, kind of elaborate. It was just, uh, you figured he'd be gone so long that when he came back, he'd be mm -hmm. a little rusty. He wasn't rusty at all. You know, I remember, I think his first play in, you know, he made a, a pass or break up on Moore or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't tell he's been gone. He's just, it was like he was with us all time. Huh? And there's nothing. I mean, you got into that situation a couple weeks ago. There's, has he been? Is he still practicing? Yeah, yeah, he's okay. still the same. How big is the injury to keep Sarah from the line? That's huge, you know, especially, you know, the defensive end position right now, we have three guys that are out. Those are three big guys for us, you know, we need them to put pressure on the quarterback. They have us out. But uh, the younger guys have stepped out, have stepped up a bit, and we just need to, uh, you know, we wish the best for Pete. We just need to uh, hope that uh, Jack and Lattimore can come back up for us. What do you expect from that? You know, I'm not sure about that. Who is uh, a defensive end? That's Sean Stanley. Sean Stanley, CJ's been in there. Um, I think we more Jordan Hill. I think he's been he taking us. He's doing both of them, I think. You know, just because right now we don't have a lot of depth outside of those three And uh, now he said that Stu Parker was backed up last week. Uh, he uh, tweaked his hamstring. It's it, not anything serious. I think he's just going to be out for a few weeks. You've always been a leader by your play. Have you been a little more vocal lately? Is anyone stepping it up? Maybe you some captaincy coming on here? You know, I'm not a real loud person. I'm not yeah. one to really scream, but I'm definitely uh, trying to be, uh, be more vocal as far as encouraging people, you know, helping the 
and with the, the younger kids out. I've been tr trying to be a leader that way more yeah. than you know, you yelling and stuff like that. Do you feel like you can be a captain this year? I mean, how do you feel like on, on that situation? You know, you like I, you might be one? I feel like I can. I'm not going to go out there and uh, you know try to prove things and go out there and act like myself. And uh, being one, I do. If I don't, I don't.